Hello everyone, back with me again, Dennis Wang, and I have jam, jam, jam. <laughs> okay, let's call it conjure resin. I have both sculpt and rigid type, and now I'm going to test both of them and compare the print result from both resin. Here are all the print result with conjure resin rigid and sculpt, and both print at 0.03 millimeters layer height. And let's play a little game here. I will not tell which resin is which, and you try to guess which resin is it. And I will reveal the answer near the end of the video. Come and join my resin 3D printer group, where we have fun 3D printing, painting, testing up new 3D printer stuff, and troubleshooting. Link is in video description. First, support removal. On both resin, you can use the warm water trick to help you easily remove the support. See, on both, they can be pull off the resin very easily. And now onto the bending test. This is one, two, three, four, and five millimeters in diameter. I will start with this resin first. Doesn't break. Two millimeters. Also doesn't break. Three. Still not breaking. Holy! Uh, at four millimeters, it breaks. Now move on to this resin here. One millimeter. A slight crack there, but it doesn't fully break. At two millimeters. I can also hear a slight crack, but it is not fully break. Three millimeter. It breaks. And this resin here can survive up to the three millimeters diameter. But this resin here can also bend quite far, but I can hear only a small snapping sound, but it ain't, it doesn't fully break. And now for the drop test, let's start with the right resin here. It survived. And then the left resin. It also survived. Now the right resin again. It seems survive. We will have a closer look later. And also this one again, the left resin. Now let's slightly slam it to the floor. The right resin. It breaks. The left resin. Oh, again. Okay. Let's try it again. Ah. Okay, the last slam is very hard and it's sudden and it breaks. Now let's try this one here, the right resin. Okay. Uh the shield breaks. The left resin. Oh. It bounced back very high. And the last time. Okay. First, let's have a look at the right resin. The column in the middle. Detached and connect to the top part. The left resin here. All of the columns still intact to the bottom part. And the top is very clean, no support attached at all. And let's have a look at this Yunsi Lim. The shield breaks here. But not the thin sword. And for the left resin, nothing seems to break at all. 
Now, let's test this buckle here. I love the snapping sound. Now, let's try to bend. <laughs> but it's getting loose because it is not back to the original straight position. The left resin here. Okay, now I'm going to bend it. Wait, okay, it performs slightly much better compared to the right resin. Now for dimensional accuracy, I designed this box at 18.5 times 18.5 millimeters. Let's zero in and then the right resin. Okay, now here's the left resin. Okay. Okay, not bad for both dimensional accuracy. Only need a slight adjustment on the slicer scale dimension and this slightly off accuracy can be fixed. When looking at for details on both resin, for this head sculpt here, I cannot really tell the difference. The same with this Yinsilim minis. But for this Yinsilim minis, I could see that the right resin, the eye details is slightly much better compared to the left resin. The same with Sergeant Silas, you could see the scratch on the helmet here. The right resin has much better details. Now let's try to assemble this figure from Teco Toys. Uh, okay, it won't snap in. Looks like I need to do a lot of adjusting for this right resin here. The hand, I mean, it snapped very loose for the right tie everything seems very loose okay yep very loose It won't snap in at all. Okay, I need to do a lot of fine tuning if I want to print articulation with this right resin here. Now for the left resin. Slightly much better on the head. Good. Nothing breaks. Very good. And join on the head. The left resin performs slightly much better. At least it doesn't fall off easily. And everything on the right resin seems to come off very easy. Okay, uh, so this is slightly much better to work with articulation figure. Now let's check for any residue if you rub two part together from the friction. Okay, we are having some residue from the left resin. Now let's try the right resin here. The same result. Now let's do some heat test. At the lowest settings here, it could warm up to 65 degrees Celsius and the highest settings it about 80 degrees Celsius. Now I'm going to try the lowest settings. It 
it bend very easy and this is only at 65 degrees and now this is for the right side resin hold it and leave it to cool down so I have cooled both the left and right resin with water and after like 15 minutes both starting to straighten up itself so it seems that both cannot heat uh, sorry I mean both cannot hold the shape during heat treatment now let's hit them both again and see will it return to its original shape right away the left resin already at its original shape The left resin returned to its original shape and the right resin I could still see some slight bend here but it is also returned to sorry I mean almost returned to its original shape. Let's measure the original weight for both resin for water absorption test. The left resin 4.693 the right resin 4.997 now let's dip it in the water and leave it for 24 hours now everything dried let's measure the weight 4.882 5.164 It becomes slightly soft but not much And the left resin Becomes much softer compared to this one Here after 24 hours, I do not see any separation of the pigment and the resin. So this is a very good result. Here both resin survive the drilling test. And those are all my tests for Conjure Resin Rigid and Sculpt. If you like what you are watching so far, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support my channel directly, check my Patreon link in video description. And if you want to purchase this Yin Lim and Sergeant Silas or other minis figure from DM Stash, I have the discount code also in my video description. Have you guessed which resin is which? If you are guessing the left resin is rigid, sorry, I mean the left resin is rigid, then you are correct. So the right resin is sculpt resin. For exposure on conjure resin, the rigid resin, I can print my exposure model on 2.6 seconds exposure. And for the sculpt resin, I can print on 2 seconds exposure. But to be able to print this articulation model, I need to maybe adjust my exposure again so the part will fit nicely. And on the last note, people keep asking me to give conclusion at the end of my video by saying which is the best or which is better for them to buy. And I prefer not to because I do not want to become a key opinion leader. I want to stay unbiased on all my review, so I only provide 
all the facts from my test so you guys could make your own conclusion because what is best for me may not be the best for anyone else so thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video thank you jera for becoming my patron